so the next thing that we have to do over here is to create our table so in the local i'll just go and to the entity over here and create a new file and call it as a employee entity dot the uh, dot file right so we have an employee entity dot file and i'll create a class and call it as a employ employee and this will be our uh, employee class that that we need to create our database table right so the next thing is that we need to extend it with the extends with the table so that will come from the i need to take it from the some um, i don't think that is the one so not the flutter widget table so i need to import it from the drift package right so the first one the drift package and once we have the table uh, we need to create our first column so how we can create a column is in column and we can we'll set a getter over here get id and the written type will be uh, it should be of our integer written type will be the integer dot the auto increment so auto increment will create a auto increment for us as well as create a primary key so enable the auto increment for this column which will also make this column the primary key of the table so when we set it as the auto increment this column the id column will be auto increment as well as uh, it will be set as a primary key so another one we will take as a text uh, column and we we'll set a getter over here and we'll set it as a user name and that will be of the written type will be of a text written type will be of a text and uh, dot i can set a custom name over here when we set uh, by default the name field will be used by the column so when we set the get username that will be a column name but if you want to set a custom name then we will have to assign a different uh, name we can give a name away to change the default behavior or uh, use something like in column and then we can set the name and give the column name over here so let us give a column name over here and we'll call it as a user underscore name and that should be the one right so we'll just duplicate this line for another four and this should be of the first name right so we have a first name and then we have the last name right username first name and the last name and this should be our date of birth right so we need to create this one as a date of birth and this will be of the first name first name and this will be of the last name and this will be we need to delete this one and set it as a date of birth right so date uh, underscore of uh, birth and this is the type of the date and time so date and time so we have to make use of a date and time and this should be replaced with the date time column so date time column so that's it i think we just have a four column now username uh, last name uh, first name last name and the date of birth so username last name sorry i think i missed a picture over here so first name last name and the date of birth right so that should be fine so it matches the field over here and that's all for the table so how we can create a table it's just by giving a class name and extending it with the table that's uh, from the drift dot dot package so let's meet up on the next one till then have a great day